Welcome to the CrickHQ user training video. In this video, we will cover all the scoring functionality aspects of the CrickHQ app. Included will be some cricket footage to get you right up to speed with the real thing. Let's begin. To set up a match, log in to the CrickHQ app and select New Match from the left hand tab. In here, select Create Own. Select Match Type followed by the format you are playing. Click Done. To select the ground, click Ground and use the search space to find your ground. Select and click Done. Select Home Team and again use the search space to find the home team. Click on the correct team and select the corresponding players who are playing. To add a new player, use the Add Player button and fill in the details. Click Done. For the away team, use exactly the same process. Select officials and click on the umpire buttons. Use the search space to find the umpires or create a new official. Fill in the details and save. Click done. For additional officials, such as scorers, follow the same process as before. Click done. When finished, scroll down and click Start Match. Select Start Innings, followed by the required toss details. The facing and non-facing batsman. Opening bowler. And wicketkeeper. Click Done when finished. Click Settings to bring up a view of additional features like Wagon Wheel, Pitch Map, Live Update, which can all be turned on or off. Click Done when finished. Let's begin our first example of real footage, watching closely for all details we have just activated in the Settings view. Click dot ball. Select where the ball pitched and pass the batsman. Select where the ball was hit or if the keeper stopped it. Example 2. Select one run. Select where the ball pitched and would have passed the batsman. Select where the ball was hit. Example 3. Select two runs. Select where the ball pitched and would have passed the batsman. Select where the ball was hit and add the trajectory path using the toggles on screen. Example 4 Observe the umpire's call Select 4 runs Select where the ball pitched and would have passed the batsman Select where the ball was hit Example 6 Observe the umpire's call. Select extras, followed by the corresponding extra runs. And in this case, select a wide. Select where the ball pitched and pass the batsman. Example 7. Observe the umpire's call. Select extras, followed by the corresponding extra runs. And in this case, select a leg by. Select where the ball pitched and hit the batsman. Example 8. Yeah. 
Observe the umpire's call. Select extras followed by the corresponding extra runs, and in this case, select a buy. Select where the ball pitched and pass the batsman. In the unlikely case of a high number of runs being scored off a single ball, select extras and notice how the number of runs buttons can scroll to reach higher numbers for your convenience. In the case of four runs being run by the batsman instead of a boundary hit, this can be input through this screen. Click the number of runs and follow the same procedure with the pitch map and wagon wheel. Now let us practice a full over in real time without any narrative help. The iPad on the right will be your only guide. Remember to watch the umpire closely. One leg by. Four runs. Four runs. Four runs. Four runs. Two runs. In the next examples, let's go over some wickets and the processes that follow. Example nine. Observe the umpire's call. Select wicket. How the wicket was taken, in this case, caught. Unselect the keeper and select the correct fielder instead. Select where the ball pitched and where it would have passed the batsman. Select where the ball was hit. Select next batsman and who is facing the next ball. Example 10.
Observe the umpire's call. Select wicket, how the wicket was taken, in this case, run out. Select which batsman was run out and by which fielder. If an assist occurs, this can be added too. Select if any runs were completed before the run out happened. Select where the ball pitched and where it would have passed the batsman. Select where the ball was hit. Let's practice a second over. Once again, with no narrative help and just the iPad as a guideline. Wide ball. One run. Wicket caught. Dot ball. Four runs.
dot ball. Dot ball. Using the edit button, we can look at the scoring history of the game so far. This can be done with the batsman, bowlers, and all of the overs in the game so far. The purpose of this is to allow mistakes to be corrected and balls added and deleted. In the example, you can see the different options we can edit with each ball from a particular bowler. We can edit the run scored, change who bowled the ball, whether it for a single ball or the entire over, and change the batsman who scored the runs. When selecting a specific batsman, again we can edit a particular ball. For example, the four runs can be edited to being hit by a different batsman completely. This change can once again be only for the particular ball or for the rest of the innings. We can also use the switch batsman button for convenience if the wrong batsman was given the runs. Selecting the overs view also has all the same editing options. Keep in mind, when editing a particular delivery in an over, the balls which follow in the match will not change and will need to be manually changed if a mistake has been made. Other editing abilities include changing wicket information such as wicket types, fielders and the batsman out. Changing the batsman out will result in all subsequent balls being credited to the new remaining batsman. Using the action button allows options such as match delays. These automatically pause the game and allow lost overs to be input. Scheduled breaks can also be input. Additional notes allowing for information such as new ball, last hour, and a free text box for anything else relevant can be added too. Power play information can be added, whether it be batting or bowling power play, which overs they were taken, and how long the power play is. Clicking the scorecard button on the top right gives a landscape view of all that has happened in the game so far. Selecting the drop down menu can open up options of projections, cumulative graph. RPO graph, Manhattan graph, MVP graph, Duckworth Lewis, wagon wheels. These are interactive and can be moved around and zoom adjusted. On the bottom right allows extra views to be added to the wagon wheel. Pitch map is also interactive with different viewing representations. Pitch map and wagon wheel can also be filtered to particular batsmen, bowlers and teams. The match you are scoring can end in two ways. The first is being automatically prompted by the Crick HQ app when it recognises the game has finished. The second is being manually ended via the action menu. To do this, click action and then click end match. Select the result of the match. Complete the player verification step of who competed in the match. Select End Match and Upload. Your match will now be uploaded to CrickHQ.com. An email will also be sent to verify the completed match with a link to the online scorecard. This includes breakdowns and a full match report. Thank you for watching our CrickHQ user training video. You are now ready to score your own match. CrickHQ.
Redefining how cricket is administered, shared, analysed and followed.